Okay guys, so this freezer was giving us trouble. Um, it would, uh, occasionally you could get the compressor to start, but it typically would just sit there and hum. And you could hear the uh, thermal kick out once it would get hot and kick back in, try and start the compressor, it would sit there and hum. I was drawing like 10 amps, which is locked rotor amps on the, for this uh, particular size, right around 10 amps is your locked rotor. Um, but I could get it to run on occasion, tap on it with a uh, hammer, everything would work, then it would cool, kick out on the thermostat, everything was great. So I went ahead and bought a um, uh, three-in-one hard start, um, jump start, a big start capacitor basically. And we're going to throw it in and see if it fixes it. And let's hope so because I don't want to have to buy a new one. Okay guys, so I just want to start off by saying don't do this if you're not comfortable doing it and you don't know what you're doing. Um, if you're completely clueless, you shouldn't be messing around with any electronics because you could cause something that would start a fire or whatever in your house. Um, anyhow, so I started with checking the capacitor, which is this guy, and mine was mounted back right about there. Alrighty, so meter is in microfarads, capacitor is labeled as 12, and we have, if I can hold them on here, 11.9, so that capacitor is good. So that was the first thing I checked. That was okay. So I moved on from there. Okay, so then I went over to this side of the compressor where all the power feeds in. Um, took the little cover off. Like I said, that was over here. And found this guy. This is our uh, thermal relay that kicks out when it's drawing high amps, so it'll shut the compressor off if it's seized. I know this is working properly. And I went over to this little guy here that holds, um, you know, it, it, it uh, connects your terminals onto your, your compressor itself, and I opened it up, and he got pretty warm. There we go. So I went over there and checked this guy. This is just on the uh, side of the compressor. It's just kind of a safety housing, if you will, that, um, you know, these little prongs here go into the compressor itself, and then your wires actually connect out here. So this is just a little safety thing. Anyways, I opened it up. Stuff got burnt in there. So I hardwired the unit. And again, I could kind of get it to run, and then it would sometimes start, sometimes it wouldn't. But when it was running, it would only draw about two amps. So I figured, you know what, a hard start kit, it's about $13. Why not? Give it a go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it does, it saves me $800 on uh, a new freezer. So I got a 3-in-1. Uh, it's rated for all those different size units there. Uh, it's a start relay, overload, and the cap all in one. So, should get us what we need. So we'll go ahead and get this guy hooked up and test her out. So here's a wiring diagram. Obviously, these two go to power. Um, something to remember when you hook that on is not to bypass your thermostat. I read in the comments a lot of people saying that their compressor wouldn't shut off after they hooked this up. Well, here they bypass their thermostat. So you want to make sure that you're after that in the uh, line of power. All right, so black is common, red is run, white is start. So when you do this, you do want to make sure, because these will spin on here, you know, you don't want them spun into each other. All right, let's fire it up and see what happens. You gotta remember that uh, you're taking a risk if you do this. You might completely fry everything. And once the smoke's out, it's really hard to put it back in. And safety squints engaged. Hey, runs. So we're gonna take an amp draw. We got about two and a half amps. So not bad. 
Uh, that particular capacitor is rated for four and a half continuous, um, and we're running two and a half, so that's good. It's working.